Hi everyone, so today I want to show you all um, the different types of bodies that I have used and purchased for my girls. Um, so we are going to compare it to a authentic Blythe body. So let's see if I can find it. I have so many bodies here. Here she is. Okay, so this is my Sunday's best body. She is about 23 centimeters tall and her legs are made of rubber. She has three clicks on her leg. Her arms can only go up and down. She can twist her torso and she's not very poseable. So the next body that's very popular is the Pure Nemo in size small body. So here I have a Pure Nemo. Um, the difference between the Takara body and the Pure Nemo is that this body is jointed. The Pure Nemo is jointed and it's very poseable. Now the legs are very thick so when purchasing this body keep in mind that some of the clothes that you do buy will probably not fit. So make sure that you ask the seller if it'll fit. So this body is very poseable. You can change the hands and they're great for changing clothes. So if you have a knit sweater that you want to put on your Blythal, you just pop off their hands and you, you know, it's very easy to put on. So yeah, it's very poseable. And like I said, the only thing that you have to worry about is purchasing clothes for this one. The legs are absolutely very thick compared to compared to the Takara body. So yeah, so the Pure Nemo ones, they come with a peg that you can pop off. And in order for this body to fit the Blythal, you have to do a little trim around the neck. And then you have to add rubber bands so that the head isn't wobbly. So I have my Basak doll that is on a Pure Nemo size small body. And her head is not as, wobble, uh, as wobbly because of the rubber bands. Um, she can move her head side to side, look a little down, look a little up. So, yeah. And I also have... I have the fake Pure Nemo bodies that they are selling online. As I forget what, they, what they're called. Now, can you tell that this body had the neck peg is not removable and I think they were designed specifically for the factory Blythals so it's very easy to fit you don't have to do any adjustments to the neck uh, my factory girl here that I purchased came with the posable body now the pure Nemo body does not have a big chest like this so now I, you, I know you can order um, they are, you know, a bigger bust for your dolls, but the factory ones, they come with a bigger chest. Um, and her head can only move side to side. She can't go up and down. Um, and then she's very sturdy. She, you know, she's not wobbly. She's not going everywhere. But um, yeah, so this is the factory doll with the, fac uh, the factory posable body. And these bodies are great, like I said, for posing, for taking pictures. And what do I have here? Let's see. Um, you can also use Obitsu bodies. So I have a 23 centimeter Obitsu body. That's the same size as the Blythal. Now, this body is a boy. Um, and I purchased this for one of the projects that I was working on. Um, I was trying to sculpt a boy, a Blythe, well not sculpt, but um, carve a boy out of a Blythe. Didn't work. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do with this one is I am going to turn my little icy doll that if you've seen my other video, right here, I took out, I cut off the hair completely off. It just doesn't look like a, a girl. I think it'd be better if it was a if it was a boy. So I'm going to try out this body, but I know it's a little, it looks, to me it's a little too thin. Um, so this is a 23 centimeter, and these are great um, for posing also. 
They're very poseable. Their feet move, their hands, you can switch their hands, come off. They ha come with, um, they come with uh, one, two, three, three sets of hands. And they also come with four different neck pegs to fit your doll or whatever doll you're working on. But yeah, here are the neck pegs. So they come with different neck pegs. That's the good thing about that. So I also have a size, sorry, I have so many bodies on my table. Okay, so this one over here is a 27 centimeter female version. She's very poseable too. She's she comes with her sets of hands and you know and this one would be pretty tall for a Blythe doll. She let me see if she's the same size as the medium. She's almost the same size as a medium. Wait, she is the same size as a medium um pure Nemo body. So these dolls would be pretty tall. So if I can do this, let's see. So this is what a Blythaw, a Blythe doll would look like, and this is a size small. So she's a little bit, yeah, she's taller. If you order a medium size, your doll would be pretty tall. And you'd have to be careful on the clothes that you buy. Um, most dresses are made for size small. So, yeah, it would be too short for your doll. It would fit, but it would be too short. So, yeah, so that's the Obitsu bodies. Um, and they are also great. I, I love these bodies, too. Um, you know, they move. They're very poseable. And I don't know if I compared her to the Takara body. So, 27 centimeters. And this is the... Um, authentic Takara body. She's a lot more slimmer. She's not very curvy, the old bit too body. Alright, so the next body that I absolutely love, it's my favorite body for now, it's the Lika body. Lacey here is on a Lika body. As you can see, their arms bend and their knees also bend. And um, I my style of um, customizing dolls is, <clears throat> sorry I lost my voice, um, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> my favorite style, my style is, you know, I give my girls a younger look, like a little girl. They look like little girls, I like them to look like them. Um, so this is my little girl, Lacey, and this body goes so well with that look. They just look so, so, I don't know, like little girls. But yeah, so let me show you what a Lika body looks like <clears throat> with no clothes. So this is a Lika body, Lika Chan body. Um, yeah, so this is what she looks like. I purchased the whole doll because uh, they did sell some on eBay. They they sell some dolls, some Lika bodies with no head, but I wasn't sure if it was like a fake doll or, you know, a knockoff. But I wanted to get the real thing, so I purchased the real doll, and um, it was a pretty good deal. They were two two dolls for twenty four dollars, I believe. So that's not bad, and I can always use a head for another doll. So their heads pop right off, and you just put your doll in. Um, the only problem is that their heads are a bit wobbly. The Blythe doll because they come with a tilt neck um, but I think I don't know I love this look you know you could do little you can pose her around I just love this body um, yeah so this is the Lika body the hands band let me compare her to the Takara body so they're the same size um, she, the Lika body has a little wider chest. Her chest is a bit wider. I've tried on some, some Takara clothes. Um, which doll do I have? My um, Enchanted Petal dress, and it was a bit too tight on the Lika body. So yes, try to make sure you, you know, when you purchase, you gotta be careful what clothes you buy. 
for your dolls because of the you know the body the bodies are different so yes this girl has a bit of a wider chest her legs are they're a bit wide apart she's got a little gap there and when they stand when you pose them and they stand with their little legs apart they just look so adorable so adorable just like a just like a little girl like a real little girl that innocent that innocent look you know but um yeah this is this is a doll, so she can bend her arms. Um, she can't open her arms in the way like, um, let's see. I'm trying to find my the sock doll, if I can find it. I have a sock doll, and she came with um, this body here. So the Lika can only go up and down. Her arms can only go up and down. They can't open. Like, you know, you can't make her go like that. Like this. Her arms out. This is this body belongs to my Basak girl. Now, the Basak dolls are the cheapest clones that you can buy. Um, so if you are practicing or you would like to practice customizing, try to get a clone first. Uh, because I know the factory ones, they're, they're pretty pricey. And the, the sock ones, you can get them for $20. So, yeah, this was her body. Um, yeah, so there's no movements like that. So this is the, the sock. And, yes, the bodies are very poorly made. They fall apart. And I just I was checking her body on her arm just popped right off. Okay. So, yeah, so this is the Lika body. And this is the Takara body. And absolutely one of my favorite bodies. And... I don't know if I mentioned this, but just be careful when you purchase shoes for these girls. The Lika dolls have, uh, their feet are a bit bigger and wider. So, where is the camera? There it is. If you can tell this is the Lika and this is the Takara body. So yes, her feet are a bit bigger and most shoes don't fit her. I tried some, um, some of my stock shoes on this one, it would not fit. Some of the boots are a bit too snug on her, but just be careful when you purchase stuff. Keep that in mind that her feet are a bit big. Um, and the next body that I have is very fun. I have a Mimi Bobek. The Mimi Bobek from Drew Carey. So you want to make a chubby doll. Now, when I purchased Mimi Bobek, uh, when I first started the hobby, I purchased a uh, Frosty Frock and i wanted a chubby little black kind of like a shirley temple kind of look but i did not have the guts to um customize my authentic blythal so yeah so i purchased a mini bulbic and i used it on a icy doll that i have i'll put the pictures up in what how they look this is the Mimi Bobek body. They come stained. They have um, purple stains on their body because of the clothes that they wear. Um, I don't know if this one, this one has purple stains. I don't know if you can see it. But this one was treated so she no longer has purple stains. And this is what it would look like. They look so cute. And where is... So this is the Takara body, and this is the Mimi Bobek. So she's a bit tall. She's probably about 27 centimeters. I think she's about the same size as the... No, that's not... 27 centimeters. This is a 27 centimeter doll. She's a bit bigger, I think. Maybe a little bit bigger. So, yeah. So, so this is Mimi Bobek. You can try using these. Um, now these dolls, they are not very poseable. They have a hard plastic. Um, their arms just go up and down. It's very hard to dress them and find clothes for them. So if you're good at sewing, making doll clothes, you would, you're would you not going to have a problem with that. But yeah, her legs, you know, they just go out to the side like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. And the good thing about these dolls is that they do stand on their own takes a little practice but they can pose on their own um, with the body being a bit heavy the and the blithe thoughts head it balances out and it doesn't it doesn't fall over so yeah so this is Mimi Bobek and one last 
The last body that I have used is a Jenny doll body. When I was looking for the Lika body, um, which are ordered from Japan, I think, um, sh it was going to take a while to get here. So I was doing a little research and the Jenny bodies are similar to the Lika bodies where their legs bend, their arms bend, And these dolls are tall, so if you want a tall doll, get a. You can try the Jenny body too. And I've used this one. I customized of a sock doll and put her on this body. And it looked good. So yeah, she's she is the tallest of all of them. So yeah. So these bodies are pretty good too. Now you can also use uh, the Monster High dolls. Uh, you can use the bodies for the. I've seen some people using them for their Blythe dolls. But yeah, these are all the little hybrid dolls that that I have created with the different types of bodies here. So yeah, that's what I have. And so if you guys have any questions for me, um, just comment below and I try, I'll try to answer them. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Bye.